welcome back to Sydney and Starlet. And if you are new here, wake up. Welcome. Enjoy the videos. videos. So today, me and Sydney are going to be reading a little golden book. Book. Disney's oh, yes. Pocahontas. So let's get a yik. Not a yik. Sky yik. Starlet. <laughs> Pocahontas. Who's that? Who's that? Oh, I like. That's Pocahontas. Listen to the voice of the wind as it tells the story of Pocahontas, the beautiful daughter of Chief Powhatan. Pocahontas loved the land and the many spirits that lived in the animals, the trees, and the. What does this say? Wind. 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 One day, Pocahontas visited Grandmother Willow, a wise old. What does this say? Weak tree spirit. My father wants me to marry the warrior Kokolam. Pocahontas told her, but he is so serious. And lately, I've been dreaming a strange dream of a spinning arrow. Grandmother Willow knew there was a great wisdom to be found in dreams. It is pointing you down your path, she told Pocahontas. Can you say Pocahontas? Oh, yes. But how do I find my path, Pocahontas wondered. If you listen with your heart, you will understand, Grandmother Willow replied. The spirits that lived in all things will guide. What does this say? York. You. So Pocahontas listened to the wind and climbed Grandmother Willow's strong branches. Off in the distance, she saw some very strange clouds. Can you say clouds? Yes. Clouds. But there weren't clouds. There were the white sails of a ship bringing men from England to the New World in search of gold. Can you say gold? Gold. Gold. As soon as the boat touched shore, a man called John Smith climbed a tree to see the wild land. He came to face to face with Pocahontas's friend Miko. Can you say Miko? Miko. Miko. Well, you're a strange looking fellow, Smith said. John Smith had a feeling someone else was also nearby, so he hid and watched. Soon Pocahontas came to view. She was the most beautiful young woman he had ever seen. But when she saw him, Pocahontas ran to her canoe quick as a deer. Smith, Smith ran after her. Don't go, please. I won't hurt you, Smith called after her. Pocahontas could not understand the words the strange man spoke. But the sound of grandmother... Willow. Yeah. Willow. Grandmother Willow's words echoed in her mind, so Pocahontas listened with her heart and understood. She saw that John Smith's heart was kind. Can you say kind? Gunk. Kind. While well, Pocahontas and John Smith became friends, Smith's shipmates and Pocahontas's tribe were becoming enemies. Can you say enemies? Enemies. Enemies. The warriors watched from the shadows as the men chopped down the trees and tore up the beautiful land. Greedy Governor Ratcliffe urged the settlers to dig faster. He wanted gold. Can you say gold? Gold. Gold. Then Rat Ratcliffe's dog Percy spotted the Indians and yelped, Savages! It's an ambush! shrieked Ratcliffe when he saw the strange men in their buckskins. Arm yourselves! Musket fire echoed through the woods like deadly thunder. Can you say thunder? Thunder. Okay. Thunder! A young warrior dropped to the ground with a wound in his leg. Namantak, Kokulam cried as he rushed to rescue his fallen friend. Back to the village, Kokulam commanded. Kokulam carried his friend home. The medicine man had never seen a wound like Namantak's chief, Palhatan Rage. These beasts invade our shores, destroy the lands, and now this! 
he told Kokuam to send messengers to all the other Indian villagers. We will fight these dangerous strangers together, Palhantin told his people. But even then, Pocahontas was talking to her new friend, John Smith. Miko was searching Smith's pouch for some treats, but grabbed his compass instead. What is that? Pocahontas asked as Miko ran off. It tells you how to find your way when you are lost, Smith told her. Miko can keep it. I will buy another compass in London. Can you say London? What yank? London. London? Is that your village? Pocahontas asked. Smith tried to explain about cities and how his people would show her will show hers to build the right kind of houses and roads. Pocahontas knew the woods around them were more beautiful than any city could ever be. So she showed John Smith her world and told him how she and her people were connected to it. Pocahontas even took Smith to Grandmother Willow's glade. Smith was stunned. One look at this place and the men will forget all about digging for gold. What is gold? Pocahontas asked. Smith showed her a gold coin. Can you say coin? Yo. Coin. There's nothing like that around here, Pocahontas said, shaking her head. Smith tried to tell this to Ratcliffe, but the greedy man wouldn't listen. Those Indians have our gold and they'll do anything to keep it, Ratcliffe shouted. There isn't any gold, Smith said. Lies, lies, Ratcliffe raged. We'll get our gold even if we have to take it by force. Can you say force? Force. Force. In Powhatan's village, the, bra the braves were just as eager to fight for their land. But we don't have to fight, Pocahontas told her father. There must be a better plan. We should try talking. It is clear the strangers do not want to talk, he replied. But if one did... If one did want to talk, would you listen? Pocahontas persisted. Palatine said yes. That night, in Grandmother Willow's glade, Pocahontas said to John Smith, Come with me and talk to my father. Smith shook his head. Once two sides want to fight, nothing can stop them. Sometimes the right path is not the easiest one, said Grandmother Willow. Smith sighed. All right, he said, I'll try. Pocahontas was so happy she kissed him. Meanwhile, a settler named Thomas was watching them. He had followed John Smith. Suddenly, Cocoam burst out of the woods. He had followed Pocahontas. Cocoam, no, Pocahontas cried. But Cocoam charged at Smith, frightened. Thomas fired his musket and Cocoam fell. Thomas, run, Smith cried. As Thomas fled, warriors swarmed into the glade. They captured John Smith and took him back to the village. At sunrise, this man will die, Chief Palhatan told his people. Pocahontas went to Grandmother Willow. I thought my dream led me to John Smith, she cried, but now he is going to die. I feel so lost. Can you say lost? Yes. Lost. Just then, Miko dropped a round metal object into her hands. Through the tears, Pocahontas looked at John Smith's compass. The needle moved back and forth. The spinning arrow, she whispered. Grandmother Willow smiled. The arrow from your dream. It shows you your path. Let the spirits of the earth guide you. Pocahontas ran like the wind. Can you say wind? Wake. Wind. At dawn, she reached the cliff where her father was about to carry out the sentence on John Smith. Pocahontas threw herself across Smith's body. If you kill him, you will have to kill me too, she cried. Look around you. This is where the path of hatred has brought us. Two armies stood ready to fight. The settlers clutched their muskets. muskets. The warriors pulled their bowstrings taut. I... I love him, Pocahontas declared. This is the path I choose, father. What will yours be? Chief Palatan dropped his weapon. If there is to be more killing, it will not start with me. The settlers lowered their guns. Now is our chance, Radcliffe commanded. Fire! But none of the settlers would shoot. So Radcliffe grabbed a musket and aimed at Chief Powhatan. No, John Smith cried as he leaped between the bullet and, his, and its mark. 
Smith had to return to England to get treatment for his wound. Ratcliffe was returning. Ratcliffe was returning too, in chains. Pocahontas did not go with her friends. I am needed here, she told him. Wherever I am, I'll always be with you, Smith said to her, to her as he left. Pocahontas turned her face up to the sky. She did not cry because she knew they will always be together in their up hearts. The end. The end. So that is it for today's video, everyone. We really hope you all enjoyed it. We will see you all next time. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye. Pick out your favorite page. Hey, with all the colors of the wind. your favorite? I guess that's a yes. Who's your favorite character? Oh, uh, yes. Pocahontas. Bye-bye.